Hello, hello. Welcome back to Legacy's manufacturing facility, so pardon the noise. My name is Chris, and today we are going to cover in more depth the controller, specifically the hardware, the software, and the user interface. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure to check out other detailed videos on the spindle and ATC feature, as well as the updated frame design and vacuum table features. Right on our website, you can find those videos, or just click the link right up there. The controller is built by Delta, a world-class industrial automation company. Now, the hardware and software have been built from the ground up, specifically for the woodworking industry. The software and hardware combined control the mass and the change in momentum from the larger spindle and bigger frame design with maximum efficiency. This increases your movement and cutting speeds two to three times faster than our past models. It also reduces the vibrations, resulting in a better quality cut. Let's jump to hardware. First is the high-speed real-time network card, also known as the Delta Motion Control Card. Now this increases reliability and stability, ensuring that you don't have any interruptions during the CNC operations. Next is the all-in-one PC Panel Motion Controller. This is a touchscreen interface, and it can pivot and swivel to accommodate different work environments and setup routines. Also included with the control panel is our USB port, okay? two Ethernet ports, and a built-in Wi-Fi function. Now you can use all three of these functionalities to transfer files for CNC operations. But for technical support, you can use the Ethernet or the Wi-Fi to give you internet access so that we can log in and have remote access to your system. Let's move on to the software. The system has features like tool management and coordinate settings. Now this allows the operator to set up any fixture for any workstation that is best to produce that part. This also allows the programmer to combine up to 100 tools in a single program. This means no having to stop to set up the tool between tool changes, which also reduces operator errors and setup times. Just like our previous CNC machines, the software provides a variety of motion functions such as single axis travel, multi-axis travel for linear, circular, and helical movements. This allows us to combine the X, Y, and Z axis movements for the horizontal and vertical workstations. We can also combine the part manipulation in the turning center to perform rotary and index cutting movements. Next is the embedded window software with image boot and reboot functions. Now the embedded system is more reliable and incorruptible, meaning it's the same from day one to day 10,000. When the machine is turned off, no matter what happened before, the system is refreshed to a perfect state when it's rebooted. Just like the past, Legacy will continue to find new ways to improve our CNC machines. The system has allows us to control every aspect of the user interface and functionality meaning any new features or changes can quickly be implemented for those improvements. Now let's move on to the control interface and show you a few of the features here that make operating the system a little easier. Now all of our CNC systems, they have three independent workstations, the horizontal and vertical table and the turning center. We have matched those workstations with three separate screens, the horizontal table, the vertical table, and the turning center. Now the nice thing about each of these setup pages is if I were to go to my horizontal table, we have work offsets that we can customize specifically for that workstation. So if I came here and customized, let's say, offset number five and called this table, and I activate that and now zero that on my machine, this is independent to my other work offsets in my other workstation pages. This makes it so I can't make any mistakes. Next, we have the tool management page. Now, this is used to set up a tool library. And we've had this feature in our past machines, but we've simply perfected the system so it's a lot easier to set up. A tool library is mainly used in a production environment where you need to cut down your run times whenever you're running the same part over and over again. Now the way it does that is by eliminating the touch-up procedure during a tool change, specifically when you're running a program. The convenient thing about the interface is that it has everything you need and nothing you don't, all on one screen. Let's say you want to switch from Imperial to Metric, or perhaps you want to switch from Auto Tool Change to Manual Tool Change. 
All this can be done with a single press of a button, making it very easy to learn and extremely simple. Additionally, the interface is very responsive. For example, if we turn on the vacuum table option, the system knows this is specifically for the horizontal work table. So if we go to our turning screen, you can see that the vacuum is grayed out and completely deactivated. If you haven't done so already, make sure to check out more detailed videos on the Spindle ATC and the updated machine design with the vacuum table features. You can find that right on our website at lwmcnc.com. There you can also find more product information like specs and photos. Just click the link right over there. Now don't forget to like, subscribe, and check the little notification box. And as always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.